I'm Sean Higginbotham, Associate Superintendent of Lake Hamilton. I'm excited today to talk to you about some changes we've been implementing with our grading practices. Our core mission is high levels of learning for all students. In order to improve, we continually review our practices and policies to ensure that everything we do supports that mission. Recently, we've been taking a critical look at our grading practices. We ask ourselves how confident are we that grading is supportive of learning, accurate, meaningful, and consistent. We concluded that we can do better, so we began to make changes that we hope will accomplish what grades can and should be. The end result for each student should be what has been learned, not what grade was earned. We believe that the changes we've implemented in grades two through five this year will focus our efforts on the learning and the progress of each individual student. Hello, my name is Stacy Strickland and I'm the K-5 Math Curriculum Specialist. I would like to inform you of the changes that will be made for the 2018-2019 school year in terms of grading. In our professional learning communities, teachers have been discussing what constitutes a grade and what is the purpose of a report card. The main purpose of a report card is to communicate current information to parents and students concerning progress that they are making in the course. In other words, if a student earns a B or a C, what does this grade really mean? Does a grade really tell you where your child is struggling or succeeding? This discussion brought about the needs for standards-based grading in all content areas in grades 2 through 5 and grades 6 through 12 math beginning in the 2018-2019 school year. This is the same type of grading system the kindergarten and first grade currently use and have been using for several years. Hello, I'm uh, Brian Leonard. I'm the math department chair at the high school. And uh, we implemented standards-based grading this, uh, this past semester and found a lot of benefit from using the program. You know, we all know as teachers that there's really three parties that are responsible for a child's success in education. It's the teacher, it's the parent, and it's the student. And I gotta say that standards-based grading really helped all three areas. You know, as a, as a teacher, I found it made me focus on the specific skills that my students needed to learn. It helped me give more targeted uh, remediation for the skills that they didn't learn and it really helped guide my instruction to where the focus was on the skills that the students needed to learn and so as a teacher it was a vast improvement for me as a student I saw in my students that there was no longer a concern about what do I need to do to get a certain grade but instead, the concern was, what do I need to do to learn this skill? And that's, in a sense, what we hope for as teachers out of our students. I also saw that my students would be more motivated, there was less apathy, and I got a lot more interaction from students about begging me what else they could do to learn the skill. And that's what teaching is all about. I like being able to look at my last semester and see more than just a letter grade. Now I see the standards that I mastered and it's, it's more meaningful to know what you actually learned instead of I just got an A or I got a B, but you actually say, hey, I learned this information and I can carry this on to college with me, which in my opinion is way more important to actually learn and master the information than just say I got an A in calculus in high school. Hi, my name is Brooke Murders and I'm, I'm not only an intermediate school teacher but I'm also a parent of a fifth grader and an 11th grader. My 11th grader had the opportunity this year to participate in the pilot program of the standards based in his um, Algebra 2 math class and he was a little skeptical but I told him to, to be patient and he was and he has thoroughly enjoyed math this year because of this. He has excelled, he's gone from not the best grades to having much better grades because of that opportunity that he had to show what he knows more than once. He was able to 
show his teacher, I know this, but I'm still building upon it. And she worked with him and she worked with him. And so having that opportunity to not just know it one time, but to continue to grow in knowing it has made a huge difference in not only his academics, but in his attitude towards school as well. It just wasn't a one time, this is it, I don't know it, I'm just gonna move on. He was able to continue to build and to grow on what, what he knew. And so it's given him a self-confidence in math that he has not had before. And so so I, I'm so proud that Lake Hamilton is going to the standard space because I think it's going to be beneficial for our students so that they can show actually what they know. Um, this, this standard space was also a benefit to me as a parent so that I knew exactly what skills that he was missing and what areas he was deficient in and the areas that he needed more assistance. So I didn't have to guess at what skills that he was missing. I knew this is a skill that my son is missing. This is a skill that I that I need to help him in or I need to ask his teacher to further help me in um, so that I could pinpoint the exact skill that my son was missing and that it, like, it just wasn't a guessing game. So I knew and so he could receive the help that he needed in that one skill.